Hey all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Mod and today guys we are going to be doing something very very fiddly. We are going to do issue 34 of Build the Titanic and it's still on with this engine room and the Titanic uh, that we're carrying on with today. Uh, we have got a few fiddly parts to do which I'm going to try and do uh, on camera. Um, I have done a little bit off camera just to give myself a little bit of breathing space really. Um, but I have recorded before what I've done on camera um, to what I have done off camera today, if that makes absolutely any sense at all. Probably doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't to me, so I'm, I'm the one that's saying it. Anyway, uh, I really want to get started with this today, so with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, let's get started. So, the first bits we need is this bit and this bit. And basically, we need to glue down onto here. So, let me get my glue tray. Let me get some glue. And let's get this in. Now, like I said, very small parts we're working with today. And let's just put that on. Bit of glue on my fingers there. I don't want it to come off. Just make sure it's straight and just wait a couple of seconds for that glue to take effect hopefully right okay i think that glue is now taken yep it has okay so the next bits we need are these bits here and these can only go on one way um so let's double check to make sure we're putting these in the correct place so this one's going to go here now it doesn't say this because we've actually got to screw these in but i'm just going to put a dab of glue just there just to kind of help me out a little bit um so let, right so this one is going here and that little bit of glue is just going to hold that part in place while I screw it in because we do have to screw these bits in place so again just a little dabble of glue and that's just enough to help me when it comes to screwing them down now these can only go on one way but I'm making sure that I'm putting them on the correct way so that's now down in place okay and then we need to screw these from the underneath with two EP screws so there's two EP screws now I'm going to go for the first one because that glue's had longer And would you believe it, the other one's come off, come off its glue, but I can hold that in place while I screw it down. Okay, I just need to sort of straighten these, make sure they're straight. I'm just going to go for my uh, tweezers, just straighten that one up, just like that. Okay, right, so next bits we need are this bit here, this bit here, this bit, and this bit. Okay, so... The first bit we need to do, now I'm just looking if there's an easier way to do this 
and I probably think there is um, by basically I think putting this on first so that will sit on and then gluing these pipes on and that's the best way to do this now this can only go on one way it seems and it's wanting us to put it on like that but it won't go in that way so uh It'll go on that way but let me just double check okay have I put this on the right way I believe I have let me just uh, double check on that one ah I know where I'm gone wrong there they flipped it over Right, so yeah, it's going to go on there. So I think that'll be easier to do it that way. Everybody, so dab of glue. The, thing, the problem is they keep shifting the, the, peep, the parts around and it's hard to work out where things go. Okay. So the next is this bit. Again, I think this is going to be easier with it on this bit here. So that's what I'm planning to do. So a little bit of glue. Again. And the way this is facing, it is, oh gosh right hold on so it wants the one that is furthest away from it i mean allegedly it can only go in one way but it's that small i can't even see the key on it see how that move how is that moving yeah precisely okay right so we'll move on to the next part which is putting this pipe on Okay, that pipe is on. I'm just going to give it a few seconds for the glue to dry. Okay, right. Next bit. <laughs> you think it's all over, but it's not. We need to put this other pipe on. Whoa. My hands went a little bit shaky then. I don't know why. Because uh, I really am not nervous about this. At all. I'm just trying to enjoy it. get the pipe on but it's waiting for the glue to take hold let me try a little bit more glue in case that's gone off already waiting for the glue to adhere come on Right, let's try the tweezer method because this really is pain hard on my to get into a better position so I can see it. So 
There you are. I've got some blue tack. And I'm not holding it. Right, it's on. Yeah, there we go. It's on. What I am going to do is uh, I'm just going to get a new cocktail stick out. I'm just going to run a little bead of glue just around the sides. Just to make sure that that doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, I need a new cocktail stick so I can get a finer point on it. If we we'll actually go onto the uh, engine room floor when done. Okay, right, so I've done that now. Just turning the page of the magazine over. Okay, so done that now. Right, so now we're going to put it on our engine floor. So I'll bring that across. Okay, so let's just make sure we get this in the right place. I'm just going to carefully lift this. Oh, that pipe's come out. Ah. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll get, it to the, we'll get it on the engine floor and then we'll put that pipe back in. Okay, so this wants to be uh, this way around. And it's going to go in like that. That clicked in nicely. And then from underneath, we need to screw that in with one EP screw. Ah, that other bit's falling off and all. It's all right. I'll glue them on when I get in, when I get this on. You see, in the previous uh, engine room. We uh we didn't put this on until we put the other bit on, so totally different way of doing it. Okay, so that's in place now, and what I'll do is I'll put them other bits. Oh, right. Okay, this bit fell off um, from the other side actually. So let's correct that. I thought it came off. Sorry guys, I'm off camera. I thought it came off um, the engine that we're just currently working with. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll put this pipe back on. Now, I think there is an easier way of doing this. Of putting a bit of glue, because this does go down onto the floor here. So we'll just put a bit of glue in there. Come on, go in the hole. Oh, 
Right, because my theory is, if it's in there and it's straight, then I can just pop, pop that pipe quite simply back on. Uh, I'll get some glue. Just into there. I'll get my tweezers. And just pop it back on. There we go. See? Doesn't always need to be difficult. Okay, right. So, next thing we need to do is just by this we've got sort of a hole just down here and we've got this detail here to put on what i'm not looking forward to is issue 36 because <laughs> we actually do install the reciprocating engines I'm going to put it on my tweezers so I can just lower it into position then I can just fine adjust it after okay right so here's where I cheated a tiny tiny bit but I did it for a reason um, we've got the other thrust block here now what I've done is I've already installed all the pipes and everything uh, This is just to make my life a little bit easier. I did record doing that thrust block so um, You can check that out in the previous videos. That's just gonna sit there It's just made my life a lot easier because I found it very difficult last time uh, on camera in sort of trying to glue it and everything it was an absolute nightmare but if I'd done it that way then at least I can save a little bit of time on the video and I can save myself a little bit of hassle as well on the video but we're going to put this in with two EP screws again this we did this before we did that part last time so I don't know why they've changed it up is it to keep us more enthralled i'm just doing this off camera because i've got to keep it and I don't want to break anything there we go okay we'll put the next one on this is a little bit off center for some reason hoping this one starts it out right okay well, we're moving along here nicely. Right, okay, so. Uh, we screwed that down, we screwed that down with two EP screws. Next we need uh, this part here. That's going to sit at this side here. I'll put that in. If I can. There's a bit of a pipe in the way, which isn't helping matters. Oh, I'll get it in. It's got to be screwed down anyway. Right, okay, that's in. And then we need to screw that down with an FP screw. So we're moving on to the black screws. I'm going to fight there with my glue tray. Okay, but that's now in. Excellent. Okay, so the next part we need is this part here. 
and again this is going to be glued in and mine's a little bent for some reason don't know why okay this can only go in one way because we do have a key shape half moon section when you say half moon i feel yeah there is other other words <laughs> associated with a half moon <laughs> oh dear it's all gone to pot already okay all i've done there is simply just dip the glue uh the parting glue okay so the next bits we need is this bit part here and this part here um and what we need to do is we're going to put the pipe in first so that's gonna go uh into this bit here again it's going it's gluing in amazing amount of glue that you go through on this build so far I think I can just place that in just like so okay right so we need this next tiny tiny part again there's only one way this can go in i'm probably going to need my tweezers for this one and hopefully it doesn't go flying off anywhere and get some glue in there old cocktail stick wants to come out with my glue tray I don't know which way, it's very, very small. No, it's not going in that way. So maybe it goes in the other way. Right. Should go in that way. <laughs> it should go in this way. I wonder if there might be some extra flashing on this. But it should go in that way. Unless it didn't ping across the room. No, it's actually bent the thing. So I can bend it back. Without it breaking. I think there's some flashing on that. Hmm. All right, let's just add a bit more glue. I know why. Because I'm putting it in the in the wrong way. Where's that gone? Where's that gone? Hmm. 
Right, I don't think it fell on the floor. I didn't hear it pin on the floor. Right, so what I'm going to have to do, guys, I will have to uh, do that bit off camera because it's gone somewhere and I don't know where it's gone. It's, can't seem to see it on the desk. Okay, we'll move on to the next section. Yeah, I don't know where that has gone. Okay, so the next bit we need to do is again another tiny part here which is going to sit on the engine now where's that going to sit oh gosh right okay right with the outer right so that's going to sit in a hole really hard to see uh it's going to sit in a hole Oh, wrong model. <laughs> wrong side. Just there. I don't know where that other piece has gone. It just sort of dropped and... Yeah, I'll have to have a good look for it after the filming. Bit annoyed with myself over that one. So I'm not normally one to lose parts like that. And I beat myself up over it until I can find it. I'm probably in a minute going to stop the camera, find it, and so I'll put it in. Because that's what I'm like. Okay, so I've just had to get some more glue out. So. And all I'm doing is just submerging the part in the glue and that's gone into place right this is going to bug me so i'm just going to stop recording find that missing part and then we'll get back on it a few moments later okay guys i'm back i finally got that into position now um i had a slight problem with that one actually because what i did was i when i put glue in it it actually happened to take the excess glue which like you can see is around there which is like just like a glue build up and into the hole so that's why it wasn't going in but it's in now and we can move on to the next step so we need to move this aside <laughs> because we're back with our engine and what we're going to do is we're going to put the walkway on. Yes, I've just noticed something's come off this. So let's get that sorted. So we'll get some glue. And we'll get this engine hopefully finished. But I still don't think it will be finished. I think that we've still got some more bits to do on it. But we'll see when that happens. Uh, let's just fix this problem first and then we'll get on with the rest of the engine right so that's all in and we'll bob that back in just like that okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to put this walkway in so this is uh quite a lot of glue <laughs> to put in on one stage but we need to put it into the little slats here I've got to admit this is very very detailed work but it's really, really nice to do. And you've got to be kind of quick with this as well because you don't want the glue to dry up.
Okay, right, so let's get this on. Get them in the designated holes that they need to be in. I'm just going to try and hold that for just a few seconds just to double check it. I'm also double checking that my engine is going around, which it is. Because you don't want it hitting anything. And I'm quite happy the way that's turned out. Now, um, on doing that, another pipe has fallen off, so let's get that pipe back on. I think I need to use more super glue in the future. Okay, we're nearly there, and we'll get this pipe back on. Uh, right, I'm wrong. You should go around the other way. That was my bad, so I need to get some glue in this hole. Just here. Right, so I'm just going to hold that in place just for a few seconds while it takes. And then we'll carry on with today's build. Okay, so I'm moving now the page over. Um, because we have got this part to put in, which is the reversing engine, and this part to put in which is uh, quite a few, they've condensed it down very massively into just sort of one stage. Well, we'll get them in either way. So, I believe we've got a sufficient amount of glue there. Right, so this can only go on one way, because it's got a half moon shape. Okay, so that's now in place. And then we've... Got this sticking to me now. Uh, we've got the last bit to do, which is fitting this. Um, but we've also got something that we didn't do on a previous bit, which we need to finish off. So let's just get this fitted first of all, and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll get this in. Again, I've got the uh, cocktail stick sticking to me. Okay, so we've got that in now. Now, we have this pipe uh, from a previous issue that we need to get in. Um, that it was sort of dangling off and then fell off. And I was like, you know what? I'll just leave that until the other section gets put in. And then we don't lose it. So we'll correct that now. Obviously there's no real instructions to go with this. So I'm just putting an ample amount of glue on. 
just to make sure that it's going to stay where it should do. I'm going to probably get my tweezers for this one. Right, so the end of the uh, pipe that should go into a hole has just come off, but it's still workable. Oh, crikey. Why has that decided to fall off? Right, I'm going to have to get this back on. Not the ideal situation to happen. Seems to be having all sorts of problems. That was glued in as well. Right, so we need a little bit more... I'm going to make sure this thing goes on and it never comes off again. It's such a pain for something like that to happen. It really is. Well, you're seeing it as I'm building it and these are the problems that you may have on your build, guys. Okay, so I've done that. I'm just going to put a little bit more glue and then this pipe will never ever come away again but i'm really annoyed that happened because there was just no need for that to happen come away when it's been glued in sometimes i do go back over these parts with some stronger glue just to make sure that they stay in but that's it that is our issue done wow so yeah we've uh, done quite a bit we've done another one of the uh, engine details and we've put in some more on this which is looking brilliant i did do a little bit of a black wash on there i'm just checking if everything moves okay which it does which is fantastic so that's it guys that's issue 34 complete well guys that's it for issue 34 of the titanic thank you for sticking by me while i do this i do not know how long this video is going to be in editing but um as you know i don't like to really edit heavily on my builds i like to do it from the builder's perspective of the problems you might come across I come across a lot of problems in my in my builds for some strange and unknown reason but we get there at the end anyway if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now